Right. Damning revelations from the Office of the Comptroller of Budget continue to cast a dark cloud over the first year of the Kenya Kwanzaa administration and its handling of the country's financial docket. A report released by the Margaret Nyakango-led institution has revealed that thousands of government employees now risk being denied medical services and pension dues. And this is as a result of the failure of the government in remitting statutory deductions, including NHIF, pension, and even pay as you earn. And as Stephen Leto reports, pending bills continue to balloon and now stand at a shocking 794 billion shillings. Controller of Budget Margaret Nyakango has published a 189 page report detailing the Kenya Kwanzaa administration's financial expenditure in the first quarter of the 2023-24 financial year. In her report, out of the total expenditure of 784 billion shillings, 700 billion shillings was used to pay salaries and allowances for civil servants and public officers in what could well be a record imbalance between the recurrent and development expenditure. According to the control of budget, a paltry 83 billion shillings was was left for development. According to the Control of Budget report, the country continues to sink deeper into the debt hole. In September last year, the country's debt stood at 8.56 trillion shillings, and one year later, the debt has increased by another 2 trillion shillings, and therefore crossing the 10 trillion mark. The report notes that as of 30th September 2023, stocks stood at 10.59 trillion shillings, comprising of 5.67 trillion shillings to external lenders, representing 53% and 4.92 trillion shillings due to domestic lenders, representing 46.5%. Pending bills have gone through the roof. According to the report, the national and county governments combined have accrued pending bills amounting to 794 billion shillings. A closer scrutiny of the pending bills show that the national government in one year increased its pending bills by 191 billion shillings, while counties increased by 2.2 billion shillings. Contractors running development projects have been hit hard by the pending bills dilemma, and once the to pay 289 billion shillings for their works. The report has also indicted the state corporations under the national government for not remitting the pay as you earn taxes for their employees, amounting to 25 billion shillings. Some civil servants have also not had their NSSF, NHIF, and pension remitted by their employer, exposing thousands to the risk of being denied medical services and for those who attain retirement age, not accepting accessing the much needed funds. The government has also not remitted the monies meant for civil servant SACO deductions and loans. The total unremitted deductions stands at 190 billion shillings. The control of budget says there is need to ensure openness and accountability in selecting projects to be funded using debts. Stephen Letos, Citizen TV.